Hey there everybody, David McGon here, here in Boston. Yesterday I posted a really cool yoga pose photo that I found on Yoga Magazine UK's website. It was of a girl in Spain demonstrating a pool variation that combines the peacock posture with a forearm stand base on one side. Lots of you had different questions about how you might be able to get into the posture, so I thought I'd do a brief video tutorial to show you how to work on it at home if you want to give it a go on your own. Now initially, the posture itself puts quite a lot of pressure on your wrists, so if you find that they're overly sensitive and you're not quite able to get into this one yet, then you can practice things like the pearl posture, uh, down dog, even chaturanga push-ups to build some strength in the wrists themselves. There are also those little squeezy springs that you can get where you squeeze, uh, squeeze the springs repetitively over and over again to build some forearm strength and wrist strength, and I think both of those things will help you out quite a lot. Now, when you finally get to the point where you're ready to work on the balance itself, you essentially take your left hand, spin it back towards your body so that the fingers are sort of facing backward toward the waist or even sideways at first. The next part of it is you walk your right hand forward just a little tiny bit so you can get your right elbow all the way down to the floor and something that's more like the forearm stand option. Now you have to swivel the left arm around a little bit so it swivels into the midline and if you sort of slide the left arm bone away from the socket, you can place the elbow down in your belly as close to the midfront of the pelvis as possible. Now you want to be sure that your belly is firmly planted on the elbow, but you also want to make sure that you're not jamming your elbow bone against your hip bones, otherwise it'll just feel really uncomfortable. So try to get it closer to the midline, sort of in the squishy portion of your belly. Once you've done that, if you want to build up some strength with a second variation, you can curl your toes under behind you and sort of balance like that. And then finally, if your wrist feels okay, you can allow some of your body's weight to rock forward. As you do that, you press really solidly down through your left hand and use your back strength to float your legs off of the floor. Now, as you lift, you can straddle your legs apart as wide as possible. You can keep pressing through the foot and use your back strength to lift your legs as high up in the air as they'll go. When you're ready to exit, you basically float your feet back down to the floor. You can then place your right hand in a push-up position and press to the high plank. Once you've gotten there, you could lower down through a wide-legged chaturanga, take a wide-legged up dog and a wide-legged down dog, and then of course give the whole thing a shot on the second side. So that's really all there is to it. It'll of course take a little bit of practice, but that's half the fun of it. So give it a shot at home on your own, let me know how it goes, and make sure to hit me up if you have any questions. Have fun.